What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating here. Let's get straight into it. Where do single men between the ages of 28 and 40 go on Saturdays? We okay. avoid women like you. Shots fired! Shots fired! We avoid modern women like the plague. That's where we're at. I don't mean like a specific restaurant or a specific location. I mean, generally speaking, are they at the gym? Are they at a bar watching football? Are they on a hike? Are they at home doing additional work? Are they at the driving range? Are they getting brunch with their friends? What does a 28 to 40 year old single man's typical Saturday look like? If you took all that energy into thinking about all the questions of where men were and you put that same mental fortitude into approaching a man, you would have much better results. But you'd rather sit there and ask questions of where they are instead of approaching them. Come get me. <laughs> I'm tired of Like, seriously, I'm putting myself at this literally not. There's not a, a single Where solid. Are all the men? I have not. Guys, this is getting serious. Uh, sometimes it seems like they just looking for cloud or attention on social media. But at this point, I think that this is a serious matter. It got cloud? to the point where they want to know where you are. Where do single men between the ages of 28 and 40 go on Saturdays? And I don't mean like a specific restaurant. A lot of them, here, here's from my experience, a lot of them, we play video games and we chill. Why would I be out at, men don't do brunch. Let me know in the comments. Guys, do you go out with brunch? Do you go out and do brunch? Personally, I only did brunch was once I was in a relationship. I did breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'd go to the gym, I'd play video games. I'd stay at the crib. That's what we do. We work on stuff at the house. We don't really go out. That's y'all's thing specific location i mean generally speaking are they at the gym are they at a bar watching football are they on a hike are they at home doing additional work are they at the driving range are they getting brunch with their friends what does a 28 to 40 year old single man's typical saturday look like because i can tell you what a saturday for a 28 to 40 year old single woman looks like there is a simple answer to her question and i know why is her voice so raspy what were you doing before you recorded this video baby girl oh she's probably aware of it if the guys in that age range are relationship type, but are still single, they are not willing to date. They are working on themselves. And this is why she can't find them. They are just doing their thing. Well, there's a lot of men that are working on themselves. A lot of men in this age bracket, the 28 to 40, this is like the time where you go and you figure out yourself and you learn and you grow and you make a bunch of money and you do your thing. That's pretty typical, right? Like, I don't, I don't get why this is so hard to understand it's like men we have to go out there and create our worth ladies you're born with your worth so like you should be spending the time that you do have when you're young and you're in youthful trying to procure a man you should go out there and be trying to find this man but instead you guys want to go out there and she belongs to the streets. city girl summer and belong to the streets where in reality if you spent more time actually approaching the men that you wanted you probably have better results hard to find men in that age range because most of them are either engaged or married um, that as well. The other percentage that is still single probably are not looking for a relationship, and this is why they're single in the first place. Mm -hmm. And this is also why those who decided to find their significant other early had it easier. Because later in life, this game goes to hard mode. Finding a partner is a difficult game with all dating apps, giving men and women the ability to select a partner with a swipe of a finger. We can't forget about social media, which also plays a huge role when it comes to the situation we are facing in dating and this is happening in all age range. Well, it's the instant gratification of social media, right? You can get on Tinder, you can get on Bumble, and you get that instant gratification. But the thing, the funny thing is, though, is that only about 5% of the men get all the matches. So there's nine, there's a 95% chance as a guy you're not going to get a match. Personally, when I was on Tinder and Bumble, bro, I barely ever got matches. Because you got to worry, like, am I her type? Am I tall enough? Do I make enough? Is my job? Like, there's so many things that women are like a checklist and guys are like, I mean, she's cute. We'll swipe right on you for like, I mean, she's cute. Boom, swipe right. We're very simple with it. But women have a laundry list full of requirements of what you have to have. And nowadays, it's even worse. Like, when I was on it, it was always like your height and things like that but i bet now it's not even your height that's your income your height where you live what you do like it's probably a ton of things that go into it but things get more complicated after the wall this is where the real challenge starts because at this stage the number of men available diminishes but to make it worse a new group of women is added to the equation mm -hmm. so all i can do is wish her good luck on her single man search let's check the comment section i want to know what single guys have to say about their location 
We are either at home with our families or friends or out doing things like hiking, gym, sports, etc. The reason you can't find us is that when we are out, we are doing our own thing, respecting women, living our lives. Most single men are on the apps. If you wanted to find us, you could have swiped on us, but we aren't Chad, so you never see us. Women are interested in women are not are only interested in normal guys when they are complaining. They aren't really looking. When they say we're all the men, they mean Chads. They always mean Chads. That's it. I mean, he's got a point. Let me know. Let me know in the comments, right? If, if women were serious about approaching men, don't you think they could just approach men? Like, where are the men at? They're everywhere. You could just approach them at the grocery store, at a restaurant, while hanging out with your friends. You could just go say what's up. But instead, you want the chads to approach you. But the thing is, the chads, they have a lay of the land. Where, where am I at on Saturday? Effing working. <laughs> but the chads have lay of the land. They can go do whatever they want, right? They can approach any girl. But the thing is, a lot of the chads have girls approaching them. So there's regular working class men everywhere, but you're, you ignore them. We are working, do home improvement, exercise, and relaxing. Uh, relaxing. Best chance to find us is at a meetup for the things we do uh, like to do and be a part of the community. Had a, quite a few women ask me for the classic info questions while on hikes. Had a post while one think I was a 10 years younger than I am. She's straight up out of these videos looking to be wiped up at 36. Um, yeah, 36, honey, it's a wrap. It's done. It's over. Start a little petting zoo. Get you a rabbit. Get you a little doggy and a, and a kitty and, and start a petting zoo. Get some hay bales and you can get the little mini donkeys and the mini horses. And you can do all that. Go do all that. Go have fun with it. You'll be, like I said in previous videos, man, you'll be a millionaire in a week. You'll be a million. But these ladies thinking they're going to get wifed up at 36? Baby girl, no. I'll tell you where I'll be at almost every other weekend. Right at home enjoying some peace and quiet after a hard week of work and stressful managers being useless. Those weekends, it's game time and nobody is allowed to enter. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of men game. Ladies, you better start gaming on Xbox. You better start getting on. You better buy you a gaming PC. I'm telling you, if, if there's like a, here's a good one. If you live in a big city, a lot of these places have barcades. I feel like a barcade is a great place to approach a man because if a guy likes to game, he's already a homebody, which is good, which means he's not going to be out doing, you know, hitting the streets or anything like that. But that means you can relate to him, bro. Do you, bro, let me know in the, let me know in the comments, how sexy would it be if a girl came up to you and she's like, do you play this video game? And it was like your favorite video game. Oh my dude, I would melt. I'd be like, you played classic Halo, and if she could like sit there and like rat off some of the lore, which by the way, I've added all the members for each month. You're a level of the old Halo, bro. I was I got so, so nostalgic with it. Loki's back here being good. Are you ready, Lokes? This is a ah. Uh -uh, go to your place. This is a Chunola. This is like the dog equivalent to a granola bar. He loves these things. Wait. Wait. Free. free go to your place but if a woman could come up to you and she could say one of the games that you really love to play and that you really enjoy and she started talking about it dude bro us as men we would start creaming we'd be so happy we'd be so happy dude but you ladies probably will never do that Single Where are all the men? i have not seen any men this is literally this is, i know this is satire but this is this is for real where are all the men they're right there i'm over it like no <laughs> One thing we can't ignore is the fact that this scene represents the reality of what's currently happening in Bags. dating. What do we see? Those guys are doing their things with their friends. They mm -hmm. are living and enjoying their lives. This is to say that there are men available everywhere, but a large group of guys are minding their business. Facts. They are focused on their self-development and success. And this is one of the reasons modern women are struggling to find them. Mm -hmm. Another reason is the fact that yeah. modern women are looking for one type of man only meaning they overlook the guys working at the supermarket cashier. The same happens to the guy working at the petrol station just because they didn't meet Chad's standard. Most of them are confused because after spending one or two days with Chad, it becomes their new standard. Let's check the comments. Well, women sleep with who they want, men sleep with who they can. And these women, they hook up with Chad's thinking, oh, this is the level of guy I can date, when in reality, uh-uh, that's not the case. Stupid. You can't actually qualify to date a Chad. He'll buck you. He'll blow your absolute back out. He will rearrange your spine. He'll do it for your whole lineage. He'll do it just for you, boo-boo. It's like Burger King. You can have it your way. He'll realign your spine. He'll do all that for you. But he won't take you serious. He won't date you. But you, you, you ladies think that the Chads want to date. They don't want to date. They just want to smush and push. Section. The old age question. 
I actually was just discuss discussing this with my wife. Where are all the good guys? They're either already taken or they're still sitting in the friend zone while all the girls are out chasing after Tad, Chad and Tyrone. I mean, there's a lot of really good guys out there, but you ladies don't pay any attention to them. So I can't feel bad for you when there's a lot of good guys. Like there's a lot of really good guys that watch the channel. There's a lot of really good guys that are out there in the world, but you ladies don't approach these guys. So I can't feel bad for you. They keep saying they want a good guy, but that's just code for, I want a Chad that won't leave me after three months. <laughs> <laughs> None of these women would date an average man. Facts. They wouldn't because women are hypergamous. They always shoot up. They date up. This is why I, I say you got to go out there and be a king. You got to be keen, impervious, noble, and groomed. You got to set yourself out, uh, apart from the pack. I'm a single man, but I wear a wedding ring outside. This makes my life so much easier. Oh, my God. That I would not recommend. I mean, unless you, unless you don't want to get approached, but... You know, it is what it is. But if, I mean, the thing is, if you're like, if you are a Chad or you're like 6'6", six, six, or if you're like 6'3 to 6'8", more than likely you're getting approached. Um, height is a cheat code, straight up. If you're a tall dude, bro, it's a cheat code. You don't have to be in shape. You don't even have to dress good, but you're a tall guy, bro. It's an absolute cheat code. I thought you guys uh, figured it out, and they are all at Home Depot waiting for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies, stop looking for men at Home Depot. The men are not there. This whole thing of women going to places where men that they think these men are frequenting, I'm like, goodness gracious, this is so or stupid to me. Section. Listen, I got a question. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. Who, who did your lips? Shots fired! Shots fired! Are your lips real? I got a question. Where are the men that are going to open? Let's run that back, Turtle. I got a question. Oh, God. Where are the men at? Where are the men that are going to open the car Your door? legs. <laughs> Chads are everywhere. I, I, honestly, any guy will probably do it. All right, I'll shut up this time. Let's run it back. Where are the men that are going to open the car door? Where They're are everywhere. the men at that are going to provide and protect? Stupid. They're I'm everywhere. sure you want them. There are plenty of them, but they're not Chad. And this is why you're struggling to see them. Like, women have ruined this for us because, listen, I am old-fashioned, okay? I will cook. I will clean. Okay? And I do both real- will you, sh will you slurp some balls, though? We want to know that part, too. Well, okay? All I ask for in return is honesty, Ooh. respect, and loyalty. Okay? I don't care if you have a Patek Philippe. Okay? I don't care if you have the new Yeezys. Okay? Like, I just want something normal. I'm not even ready for that, but when I am ready for that, where do I find y'all? Kristen, Christian Mingle? Kristen. <laughs> Sprouts. Whole Foods. Farmer Market. Bro, what is up with the face? It's, what it's is the... the it's all the fillers and all this, like, what? what ladies, stop doing that. It looks so bad. You ladies look like cats. They look like cats to me, dude. It's so weird. Something you are not ready for. She should do one thing at a time. At this stage of her life, she should do the necessary work to be ready for a good guy instead of wasting her time trying to know where to find him. Yeah, I mean, see, that's the thing. Ladies, go out there and prep yourself to, to be qualified for a good man. Yeah, cooking and cleaning is great, but can you uplift a man? Are you quaint? Are you empathetic? You know, are you going to elevate him? To help him out? Are you going to be a good helpmate? Are you going to be nurturing? Are you going to be natural? The thing is, ladies, when we see y'all with the BBLs and the face, like all the facial stuff and all the lips, we immediately put you in the recreational use only bucket. Let me know what you think in the comments. Fellas, when you see ladies out there with all the plastic surgery and all the lip fillers and the big fake butts and the big fake boobs, are you realistically sitting there thinking, man, I really want to wife her up. I want her to meet my mom. No! Stupid. We want to buck you. That's it. We want to smash and pass. We want to hit and dip. It's that simple. We don't ever want to take y'all serious. You don't even take yourself serious. You look like a clown. <laughs> With all this lip fillers and Botox, here's the thing. Your forehead should have wrinkles. You know what I'm saying? We get older. It is what it is. Your lips shouldn't look like this. Call me crazy. But your lips should not look like that. Your cheeks shouldn't be puffy. 
Like your teeth shouldn't be, you know, brighter than my dreams. Like it's okay to be natural. But the thing is, is this cosmetic industry is just preyed on the insecurities of women. I mean, look at the makeup industry. It's making up for a lack of aesthetic. That's why it's called makeup. Cause you're beat. <laughs> and you have to have it to look semi-decent. <laughs> Ladies, go out there and be quaint, uplifting, empathetic. Uh, what's the other one? Empathetic. We'll, we'll put energetic in there. Natural, nurturing. Be that. Be that for us. And we will be there for you. But the thing is, you ladies next all these regular schmegular guys. All the guys that are like in the grocery store, at the supermarket. They're the mechanics that work on your cars. The guys that change your oil. Like you don't even pay them any attention. Like these guys are invisible to you. Well, here's the thing. Here's some karma for you. Once you get to the age of like 30 and up, you're invisible to us. We're invisible to you, and then you become invisible to us. Oops. Darwinism comes full circle, baby. Now now we aren't going to approach you anymore because you're, you're in the danger zone. You can't even have kids. 35, it's geriatric pregnancy. Goodness gracious. And then the thing is, a lot of these women come into these relationships with kids already. And then talking about, well, I don't want to have any more kids. You don't want to have any more kids. What? Stupid. You already had kids with another guy. And you know what that means? Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. These single women out here asking for the most. <laughs> for the absolute most. And you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> Now you're a single mom. You can't make this stuff up. Stupid. You really can't make this stuff up. It blows me away. Because a lot of the times, the women that are asking for the most are the single moms. The women that are younger, from like 18 to 24, they're like, I just want a guy to love me. I want a guy to, to treat me good. But then the modern women ideology has creeped into the young girls, too. So even a 19-year-old girl thinks she deserves a man making... $200,000 a year, like the top 1% of earners, every 18 to 24 year old girl thinks they deserve that. I've, I've said this in previous episodes, but I haven't said it in a while. So I'm going to, I'm going to say it again. Ladies, you have two options when it comes to picking a man. You either pick him when you were both villagers and you build a kingdom together and you become a queen. He becomes a king. That's the first option. The second option is you're a villager or you're a peasant as the woman. You find a man who is a king and share him amongst his concubines. Because why in the H-E double <laughs> hockey sticks would a king who is self-made, a self-made king, why would he ever be loyal to one woman? Stupid. He's built his world. He's built his kingdom by himself. Why would he dare share it with just one woman? That's what I'm saying, ladies. You're afraid to build with a man. Back in my grandparents' day, they weren't afraid of that. My grandparents were both regular schmegular. My grandmother was a nurse. My grandfather was a milkman. They got together. They built a beautiful life together. <laughs> life is a mirror, not a window. They're both normal people. But the thing is, nowadays, nurses, oof, some of the hardest to date. Nurses, hairdressers, therapists, women that are in, like, entrepreneurial roles where they take care of their own business, like... They're so bossy and hard to deal with that it's like, why would I want to deal with you? And then the thing is, is as women get older, their standards go up when the opposite should be true. You should be trying to hand that stuff out like a freaking piece of chicken at Chick-fil-A in the mall. You should be like, hey, who wants this slide? Who wants it? It's bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you want it? You should be trying to hand that stuff out. But then you raise your standards and say you want a really high value guy. What are you talking about? You don't even qualify for this level of man. So ladies, you gotta, you gotta choose. Do you wanna be a villager or a peasant with your man and build a kingdom? Because then he'll be loyal to you, right? Because he almost damn near owes you that loyalty because you stayed down with him and you were bucking him when he won nothing. But if ladies, you wanna go out there and get you a king, be ready to share this man. And that's the problem. A lot of women want a king, but they don't wanna share him. What? That's stupid. Why would he go out there and just buck you? When he could buck a few of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> There's no reason. There's no reason for that. Shout out to all the members. Shout out to all you guys. Appreciate uh, appreciate all you guys watching. So mad love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to my co-star, my executive producer, Loki. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.